Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We're in the Waves booth at AES 2018 here in New York City with our friend Ben, and he's got a new plug-in for us to check out. Cool. Thanks, Mitch. So what we're very pleased to announce here at the show uh, for, the, for the very first time is the Abbey Road TG12410 transfer console. This is based upon and impeccably modeled upon the same console that was behind records like Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, Radiohead, OK, Computer, uh, Nirvana in Utero. So what you see here are the, uh, the five modules, or cassettes as they were called, by the EMI engineers who uh, put this together. We have first our input, and this allows us to basically go into a stereo, dual, or mid-side, which gives us a complete separate uh, left, right. Transpose is not anything that you would see as far as uh, uh, pitch. It's literally changing left and right and then changing um, your polarity with the pull L. So our, our next module cassette over is our tone and this is a EQ which is again impeccably modeled on the uh, hardware at the Abbey Road Studios. Um, what you see is something that you would find uh, on a very old English console. You have fixed bands and a, a very nice sweep as you go through on the gain and a limited shape but they're very sweet sounding and uh, I'll just show you how you can go in and, and get a better view of each module. You can expand them and then you can link them or delink them go into your input, tone, limiter, filter so you get a lot of uh, hands-on tactile control uh, within the cassette itself. Next up we have the limiter and uh, if you focus in right here on this red knob, you can see that we have the option for the original, which gives us that really nice analog, somewhat dirty sound that you would expect uh, with a limiter from the 70s. But we also put the components in if you want to use this, but also have a more modern sound that's going to be a little bit cleaner. We have the option of putting that in there as well. And just like you'd expect on any other type of limiter you have your makeup and ratio and and uh, recovery and again this this can expand out any way that you'd like it to to go ahead and use it and lastly in our last model we have our filter and uh, this gives you everything you'd expect from a classic filter here um, and again you can blow this up and take a look at this and what's nice with this is if you decide to you can go ahead and move any of the modules around and they'll automatically rebuild and then lastly, uh, we have our output control. And this has the classic spreader, um, which gave the EMI engineers developed this to give that wider sound. And this is really the glue that holds the whole plug-in together. I like to think of this, when people ask me how to compare this to, say, L2 or L3, um, I like to say that those are maybe more like a hammer, sort of big, you're going to get your, your big sheen and your brick wall limiting and so forth. This is much more like an artesian hammer that you go in and shape and sculpt the sound. And uh, I find that I would probably use this also as a classic um, channel strip as well. So, and lastly, it, germane to that point, we have lots of uh, presets that work not only as a mix bus but also as a channel strip as well. Uh, this is $39, um, but if you already own the Abbey Road bundle, it's a $29 um, Waves upgrade. Ben, thanks so much for giving us a tour on this. It looks like it's just going to be fantastic. I can't wait to get my hands on it. It's fabulous sounding, and uh, please visit your uh, Sweetwater sales engineer, and he, they can tell you more. Right on. Thank you. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it. And we appreciate you joining us here at AES 2018. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. We are coming to you from the Javits Center in New York City.